Welcome to Let's Talk Frog. All right, welcome to this episode of the Let's Talk Brock podcast. I'm your host, Liam Nielsen, and joining me today from the business communication program at Brock and a member of the Badgers Building Bridges program. Try and say that one 10 times fast. I am thrilled to be joined on the show by Mr. Owen Nari. Owen, how you doing today? Hey, Liam. How's it going, man? Nice to be on. Yeah, good good to see you. We were talking a little bit before the show started. The semester's all good and all wrapped up for you, and you're all, you're all set for the summer. Yeah, I finished around like April 13th. All my exams are take homes and I've already got started working. So it's been a nice, nice way to start the summer, I guess. But yeah, for sure. I'm sure it's uh, been a nice break for you after after the uh, the exam period there. But that's awesome. I figure we can jump right into it here. I, I always like to go back to the beginning at the at the start of these podcasts and, and think back on that all important, you know, what am I going to do with my life after high school and figure out uh, you know, where am I going to go to university? So what did that look like for you when you were making that decision? And why Brock? Why business communication for you? Uh, so, yeah, it's a pretty good story. So, like, I've grown up in Thorold. Like, I've lived here my entire life. And I remember just grade 12, I was, you know, similar boat as everyone else. I didn't really know what I wanted to do. I was working at a, a law firm. So I worked at Unifor Legal Services that summer. And all my buddies were starting to move away. And it was like August 29th or something like that. And I was like, I don't want to have a gap year. So that was my original plan. So I started looking at like, it was too late to get into university at that point, obviously, but Brock was always in the back of my mind. And so I picked the college that all my buddies are going with. So I went to, to George Brown mm-hmm. and I went to marketing at George Brown at first, but the whole time I knew that I wanted to end up back at Brock, but it was just a little bit of a detour, I guess you could say. Yeah, for sure. And I feel like that's a path uh, that a lot of students take. And the important thing to to remember is, you know, when you're 17, 18, you don't need to need to know like what you're doing for the rest of your life at that time. You can head to a college, transfer, head to a university, transfer around, take a gap year, anything that works for you, right? There's no stress, there's no pressure. So it's it's really on you to, to figure out what works for you. So that's a great point there. And um so you mentioned being from the Niagara area, obviously you're probably pretty familiar with Brock. So what was that like sort of growing up around Brock? Did you, uh, were you able to be around campus a little bit? Oh, I, I know when I was a kid, my dad would always take me to like the, the basketball games and the hockey buyouts, but I never really like paid attention to it that much. Whenever I drove by, like obviously I'd go to the the Tims and the, the Dons across the street because yeah. I was just a kid just getting food, right? Yeah. But I never really paid attention to the marketing and how Brock actually was till they came in my high school. Like I went to Eden, mm-hmm. Eden in St. Catharines, so I didn't really think of Brock or anything till I had like the seminar where they kind of talked about the university and what it was like. But it was obviously, like I mentioned, obviously something in the back of my mind. And it was kind of surreal the first day that I kind of got to step on campus and say that I was actually a Badger. Yeah, I'm sure that was a pretty cool feeling, you know, seeing Brock sort of from an outside looking in your whole life and then being a part of the community. I'm sure that was pretty cool. But now that you're okay, you know, we're backtracking. We're in our, we're in your first year now at Brock, right? So you're in business communication. What's that looking like? What can students expect in the first year of BCom at Brock? Uh, so the first year of BCom at Brock, it's a little bit of a, I'd say like a broad path. They kind of, they kind of do it, or the, the courses are all spread out. So I know that you take a film class and I, I really enjoyed that one. It was, it was nice to think of movies from a different way. And it's kind of something that stuck with me now. And then uh, another course that kind of sticks out to me was uh, 1F90, and that's just kind of about, it was, it was the thing that sings out most to me is like, it was the theory of like signs and like what things actually mean. So it kind of like makes me think deeper into what something actually is. Like when I read an ad, for example, so like that's kind of like the business communication thing. I'm mm-hmm. trying to think of where they're coming from and rather just seeing like a, I remember the class, there was like a picture of a pylon and rather just thinking of like, oh, it's something that makes you stop. It's rather like trying to protect you from something was an example that I remembered in first year. But yeah, first year, it's a little bit more broad. But then as you move on, it becomes more specified and you kind of see the path unfolding in front of you. Yeah, it's interesting. I My roommate's in business communication, so I see some of the stuff he's working on. And it's a lot of like media messaging and stuff like that, from what I understand, which is pretty interesting stuff. And obviously, you know, super relevant, especially in today's day and age. So it's very important to content being taught there in your first year it sounds and shout out to film 1f94 that's been one of my favorite classes i've taken at brock too so yeah, that's a nice good class to, yeah yeah it's a good one it's nice to hear there's a fellow fan um but now that you're you're in your fourth year right at brock 
I'm going into my fourth year. Going into fourth year. So what is one opportunity that you've had while studying at Brock, either inside the classroom or outside the classroom, that you never would have thought was possible coming out of high school? I mean, I know that we talked about it already at the start, but I think Badgers building bridges was kind of something that took me aback. I remember I was, uh, so I do landscaping in the summer with me and my buddies. So I was, I was digging out the root of a tree and then I had a, like, it's a, I have a double buzz for when I get an email because I know that I have to check it. So mm-hmm. my phone double buzzed and I was like, it's the middle of the summer. Who's emailing me? Yeah. And I, I check it and then it's the department offering me the opportunity. And I know that I know that a lot of people get the perception of when it's at university that the professors don't necessarily notice you or pay attention to you, and it's more about the TAs. But I think if you told me coming out of high school that I'd be responsible for like eight or nine first-year students mm-hmm. and kind of helping them guide through, I mean, nobody's going to protect COVID. But <laughs> no way. I mean, a funny side story for that, just really quick, is uh, in grade 11 in like my entrepreneurship class. We had to uh, have like a business idea, and my idea was uh, grocery delivering service. So if oh, I did wow. that, I would have, I would probably wouldn't be in this position. Oh, you'd but, be casting checks right now, my friend. Yeah, but I think that that's something that's really taken me back lately, and I know it's continuing on because I got this opportunity to be on this podcast. But I don't really think that professors would necessarily notice me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, that is a great point. And in, 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 uh, at Brock, we have sort of the communication, popular culture and film is sort of all consolidated into one group. We call them CPCF. I found with my limited experiences, I take a few courses in that faculty that it is a really good community and the profs do make a real effort to get to know the students. So that's one of the things that I've appreciated the most about that faculty. And um, I definitely see it in, in, in the other faculties at Brock as well. It's, it's a real sense of community. Obviously, we're a pretty mid-sized institution, but Badger's building bridges, you mentioned that. Uh, what's been the most rewarding part of that for you now that you've sort of had some time to experience that? I think it's just, well, it's something I even have to admit with my friends. I really just like helping people and giving them a hand with like papers and stuff like that. So I think it was nice to have these kids come in, obviously not being able to go on campus and I've having no idea what to expect. And I think it was nice to, with the few students that reach back to me, like exchange a couple of emails and let them know that if they ever need anything that they could reach out and that don't, I also mentioned don't hesitate to email the professors because they always get back to me. And I'm sure that they would get back to the first students like or first years even more now because of how crazy things were. But I think the biggest thing was just having the opportunity to let students know that someone was there for them. That's not necessarily I mean, getting paid and stuff like that. Like, it's just me willing and wanting to help them and mm-hmm. like being that connection, even though I'm just some random kid emailing them. I think that I was still able to help a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's, that's the most important thing coming into first year is just having some point of contact. And a lot of times I find students are more receptive to another student rather than like a, a faculty or a staff member. So that's a very important program going on there. I'm excited to see how it grows as I'm sure you are I'm sure you'll be back involved with it again this year yeah sure yeah yeah awesome and uh, I guess that ties into the next question I have which is basically uh, say Badgers building bridges doesn't exist which which it didn't when you were coming into Brock Uh, what are some other than that what are some tips you would have for a student if they really wanted to get involved on campus hit the ground running from day one what would you do I mean I think that I really broke out in second year Okay. Like second year is when I, I met all my friends. So it was just kind of the one story I was talking about. I walked into my my marketing class and a very underrated aspect is where you sit on the first day of classes that <laughs> oh, people wait, don't pay attention to. Yeah. So I like I previously knew a couple of these buddies from like high school, but I didn't know they switched into my program. Mm-hmm. But basically just one guy shouted down to another guy saying, Hey, I like your shirt. And then next week there's nine of us. And then we're all stuck right. like glue for the re- for the rest of the year. And nice. we're still really close now. But I think that the the biggest tip I would say is that everyone's obviously looking to make friends when you get into university. And I think if you you make those connections in seminar, especially like in first year, I met one of my buddies, Brett, and Brett and I are really close now because I kind of reached out to him at seminar and sat beside him on the one day. So I think if you try and like just I would just say make friends is the biggest thing I could say. Like, don't be afraid. Everybody's just as nervous as you are to make a friend. And if you kind of reach out and say like you connect like you and I connect on my Blue Jays hat if you have a little connection like that yeah I think that you can go a long way yeah that, that you hit the nail right on the head everyone's in the same boat don't be afraid to make friends especially if you're living in residence I don't know if you lived in residence or not but 
it's especially in residence everyone's away from home for the first time and everyone's yeah. sort of confused just has no idea what's going on so it's a great way to make friends uh and now we're, we're focusing a lot on the first year experience which is good because this is sort of our target audience for this podcast but uh looking forward for you what's next after brock you know you're coming up on your fourth year here what's your sort of path that you're on right now where are you looking to take business communication so the first thing i want to do is i want to go back to george brown and finish my marketing diploma mm-hmm. so and i have both and then I mean, the the only thing that I have in the works right now is that my aunt lives in England and oh she owns a marketing firm. So that's the the idea that I'm looking at. That's pretty cool. But I mean, obviously, I don't really have anything like concrete. Sure. Yeah. And that goes back to what I was saying earlier. It's no rush, right? I mean, you're yeah. we're both pretty young, right? We don't need to figure out what our career is going to be at this very second or anything like that. But it's nice to have that that option there. And like you mentioned, George Brown, too, it's pretty cool. Um, but th- there's one question I like to ask to every guest that comes on the show right before we wrap things up. And I don't mean to put you on the spot here or anything, but it is uh, sort of a, a staple of this podcast. So um, I'm okay. hoping you have a, a good answer for us. But uh, I like to ask, what's your favorite spot on Brock's campus, and why is that your favorite spot? Oh, yeah, um, it's a tough one. There's so many good ones. There are a lot of good. Ones. Like to do homework, or like just to hang out. You know, could be doing homework, could be somewhere you like to hang out, could be somewhere you uh, had like a good memory of anything. Uh, well, if it's the good memory, like in the summer of grade ten, I worked in the the Union Subway. Oh, so nice. Whenever I go to Union, I always think of uh, working at that Subway. And then, yeah, that's a good one. Union Station's got a lot of great food options. It gets really busy during the lunch rush during the weeks. So I'm always there, so that, that's a good one. I like that one. I think a really like underrated spot that was Karen's. Mm. Like, I really like doing homework with my buddies in Karen's. Yeah, very good study spot. A lot of natural lighting. Uh, I, I would 100% agree on that one, too. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. Uh, that's all I had for you today, Owen. But I appreciate you coming on the show, sharing your experience with us, sharing some of those tips. That was awesome. Go Blue Jays and uh, take care. All right. All right. You too, man. Thanks for having me on. All right. Have a good one. Thanks for joining us. If you have any questions, you can contact us by email at futurestudent at brockyou.ca.